What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back tomorrow. Let's play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. In the last episode, we finished up with Kelp Forest. And oh god, it is so enraging and crazy. In this episode, we'll tackle what I thought would have been the hardest level, but now that I played through it, it's actually really not too bad. This is the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard! This level gave me a lot of problems as a child. Oddly enough, although playing it, like I said, now that I've replayed it, it's really not difficult. I don't the know why I was such a baby. of ships, somewhere among this haunted mess, a fearsome specter waits. <laughs> right in front of me. And once again, I gotta mention, the music is so good. Oh, it's just so great. This game has such good music. <laughs> Who dares disturb the flying Dutchman? Um, it, it's it's me, SpongeBob, it's me. Sir. <laughs> SpongeBob, sir. What? Okay, I subconsciously remember that because I, I do not recall that at all. <laughs> but I'm not a shell scout. Ah, I get. Here, I see what you did there. To scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's oh. these darn robots. How dare they? They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, you. sad thing. <laughs> now yeah. those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, I wouldn't really say that blasting away, but it well, is pretty cool, the outcome of this anyways. It, Get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any Whee! questions? What's two Is plus that five? Adorable hat available in a size three. No, but if you do this, <laughs> a golden spatula be your booty. Now get going. Hey. Okay. Uh, that's right. I hit you. I hit you again, but you're a ghost, so you don't really do much. Does you react to it? He's kind of almost biting his tongue. Stop biting your tongue, sir. It's unhealthy for you. You say anything else? You done everything I've not well, get a lot. Okay. So you'll see. There's four cannons to hit. Hi. Oh, he's dead now. What? That child threw a sink at him. Uh oh. Targeting. That's really cool. I like that. Where'd the child go? There's a kid right here. Yeah, so these are guys. It's weird how sometimes they tell they give you intros and other times they don't. Did I kill him? Oh, I did kill him. Nice. I get a hundred shiny objects for it. Eat a burrito, brother. Come on, mother, mother. You can definitely get this box. You're definitely gonna want this box. Um, and then there's this right here. And then let's look down. And there's a golden spatula on the goop. Definitely remember that, because that comes into play later. And by later, I mean really... Like momentarily here. Hmm, is there anything else we can see from here? It doesn't look like it. This music has like a creamy atmosphere to it too, but as well as like a playful one. I, I, I don't know. The music in this game is just really good if you ask me. Oh boy, these guys. Uh, oh, that was bad aim on your part, Mr. Chuck. Yeah, you're Chuck. Okay, and then there's these platforms here, but first off... Well, you know what? I'm not gonna even say that yet. Because there's actually a passage right down here if we go. And if we pay a 2,500 shiny objects, a switch comes up and you're like, what the heck? What are we gonna do with this thing? Well... Well... We hit this... There's a sponge ball right there, and if you look over this way... Goes through the goop somehow. And it's like, yay, we can get the golden spatula, kind of, but what about all the goop? Uh, let's go. Oh, but the activated so. well, The SpongeBob's right on the goop, and this is like normal goo. If you step in it, you die, so I don't really want to step in it. But there is actually a way of stopping the goo. There's also a sock right there. If we look at the, where the source of the goo is coming from, that porthole right there. Let's see if we can get closer to it and see what happens. But first off, these puzzles can be really complicated if you don't know what you're doing. 
as you see, you can jump on there. However, a lot of them are decoys. Like, this actually has no use. What you're supposed to do is get these together. This one, you can't even move. You can only move them when the positions where the or the uh, buttons are, not bubbles. And a lot of times, it doesn't matter which one you hit first! Oh, God. Oh, really? Okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hold on, my nose is really freaking itchy. Oh, stop jumping underneath that. There we go. You both need to die. No! I said die! There we go. Look at him just dancing his way over there. He's having a way too- why is he looking that way for? So creepy. If I just saw that- if he was just in the background and not like a talk- talkable character, that'd just be creepy. It'd be even more creepy if he was like an unrecognizable character. Like if he wasn't a flying Dutchman and he was just some random ghost. Just hanging out here. Would that not just be really creepy? Like if you could reach him and talk to him, it probably wouldn't be as creepy. But I think it would be like- it'd be really weird. A scary man if you could talk to him. Alright, another truck. Oh, but there is a ship right here. And you're only when I see this stuff. I just want to walk out to the end here and just like look. Oh, there's a trampoline there. Jump down there and see where it brings us! Oh, right back up here apparently. But okay! If you look right here, this ship is the source of all the toxic goop, which is really sad because like this is polluting this entire ocean apparently. But, which is really weird and unexpected, is you can use a cruise bubble here. Did that work? Oh, it did. Now, as long as you get near it, it closes it. I don't know where's the goop, but I'm surprised that thing stayed open, actually. Oh, okay, there's one more. And another thing, if you're not... What the heck is that? See over the cliff? That's a white thing. What the heck is that? Is it moving? No, it's not moving. It's probably... Oh, it's a gravestone, isn't it? Okay, yeah, it says rest in peace here. That would have been creepy, because, yeah, there's actually gray stones laid across this hole. But, like, if that was, like, a ghost or something there, that'd be scary, man. I'm glad it isn't. Spongebob be rooting the moment. Anyways, we can now jump down here. There's a gold spatula! Yay! I actually completely missed this the first time playing through. Well, actually, when I played a few months ago, I missed this completely. I had no idea how to lower the goop. But, yeah, that's how you do it. You hit that cover. And now we can actually go back and do the... Um, the, the thing with the sponge bowl. I really like this ship too! It's like partially sunk and I think it's really cool. Oh, I thought there was a door here, but I guess not. It kind of reminds me of the Star Fox Adventure ship that you start off on as Crystal, doesn't it? Can we get up here, please? Thank you. Thank you! I like how there's just a random chapelain here. <laughs> Does not fit the area at all. Alright, and now. Uh, well, I was gonna say, let's go back and do the sponge bowl thing, but I don't think we can at this very moment. This is my moment! My moment! If we can move all this stuff, we can do it though. Hit the button. Hit the button! Yeah. Okay, let's hit these. Go do it. There we go. Just like that. There you go up here. See, I think this level is only challenging if you don't know what you're doing. Or maybe like the first people. Oh god, play it through for the first time. Like, you would expect to use all these walls. And I can't, that's the only kind of sad thing I regret playing this not too long ago. That's because I completely remember, like, a lot of these walls are decoys. The first, when I was playing it, like, a few days ago, I did not know that. I thought you had to use all the walls, so I was trying to figure out a way that I could use all the walls. And then it wasn't until, like, five minutes later, I'm like, oh, you know what? I bet, I bet these other walls are just decoys. And I figured out not to even use them. But anyways, come down here now. You'll see there's a completely nice, beautiful path just laid out for us. And if you hit the search now, we have a timer. It's kind of cool that they don't include the time when the group's risen, because that would just make you think that you had time to do this. Well, there's no way I'm making that. Um, be right back? Wait, can we hit the switch when it's still activated? No, we cannot. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Hit the button again. Go on to SpongeBob form. And, like, with the distance you have to go with this, you would not be able to expect to be able to make it. Well, I was not able to make it, and I very glitchily died. Oh yeah. I guess a SpongeBob is, or sponge bowl is really helpful for that, especially. Alright, oh god, now Chuck's gonna be there. Freaking Chuck. Everyone hates Chuck! I'm not sure everyone hates Chris. Well, everyone hates Chuck. Oh, oh, I thought I hit there. I'm glad I did. I stopped to scratch my nose there. My nose. Oh, the Flying Dutchman's watching us very creepily. Don't you dare! Oh, I went the long way. Great. Super. Why not? 
Oh, this is the way you have less chance of hitting anything. Oh, maybe this was a better way. I went the other way before. I remember losing the sponge bowl pretty quickly. Ah! Oh, no! Don't you dare fall back into the goop! Okay, there we go. Yeah, last time I did this, I actually made it into here. And, oh, well, it's gonna happen. I made it here just as I was hitting zero. I'm like, great, is it gonna close on me? Is this still gonna close on me? It might. No. Okay, well, if it closes on you, you can make it here just in time. If you try to walk out again, it will close. Oh, they go back that way, too. Well, there's actually uh, the duplication Tron over here. Duplicator Tron. Blah, 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 Tron. And it's in the middle of the group. I mean, there's really no point in destroying it, but I'm going to destroy it just for the sake of destroying it. The other path just has some extra shiny objects, and there's really no point to it. Um, I guess we'll go this way again. I guess, oh, God, I guess that's why this is here. Yeah. It's kind of weird, because last time I did these, um, yeah... I already had finished the level and came back to these spatulas since I figured you actually had to come back to them, but nope, you don't. Right, is Chuck still alive or did that Thunder Tiki explode him? No, it did not. I thought maybe the Thunder Tiki exploded him, but apparently not! Oh god, don't you dare hit me. <sighs> Destroy you! Hit. Wait, nope, not you. Hit you, there we go. There we go! And hit you back and then we'll be right back where we started and. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to make sure we had all the gold spatulas we need. There's actually only three gold or three what? I'm still calling them three uh, I'm still calling them golden socks this far into the game, the last level. The last actual level. Well minus SpongeBob Street, but we're not gonna count that. But yeah, I'm still calling them freaking golden socks. Look at Gravestone up on that cliff. That's still really cute, man. Destroy you before you give us trouble. And now the platform that's stuck in place. Is only enough the one way over here. So it's like, but we want to get up on top of that ship hall right there. So it's like, well then. And there's another sock over there. And it's stuck on top of there. There is no way to get that as far as I know. Well, at least yet. We will be able to get it later. See, like, look at that. That's really... I keep seeing that in the corner of my eye. And it's really creeping me out now that I know it's there. I didn't see it the first time or last time I played. Or maybe not even the first time. Um, you do actually want to align these gravestones. For example... Oh, do we want it there? I think we, yeah, we do want it there. We want to line those gravestones up like that. We're gonna come back up here. Ah, we go over here. There's actually on, something on top of this ship as well. Uh, I think it, it'll only be shiny objects though. Anyways, we jump up here. And I can use this to jump over here, and that's why you want to line those ship parts up like that. Oh boy, I thought for sure I was gonna hit me. Ah! No, 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 no! There we go. There we go. Oh boy, I did not see you coming, sir. All right. Um. Right. No, no, bad. Oh, I'm always shocked when those things die from two hits. I was expecting not to die two hits. I'm really glad that I was with the feeling that Thunder Tiki's are either gonna knock me off a cliff or one hit me for some reason. I don't know why. And Sock, stop tempting me. If I could fly, I would do it, but I can't fly, so I'm not gonna do it, because I'm not stoop. I'm not stoop, as even though others might think so. Those ships up there, those are actually the end goal up there, as crazy as that sounds. That's where our end goal is, right there, and we will make it to that point in one day! Holy crap, that was something. You need to lie down! Jeez. Okay. Don't! Oh my god. I hate that you step forward when you bubble ball. It's like, really? Oh boy, okay, there we go. Uh, you can also go bye bye. Ah, there's a duplicator Tron up there. Does he spawn one right here? It doesn't look like it. But he spawns one right there. We're gonna use you to take care of you. There we go, I did hit it. Yeah. Ah, oh, my bowling skills are off today. Ah, uh, looks like every single day. Right, take care of you guys so we can do this puzzle without being too annoyed and look at all these Doesn't this looks super complicated well it's not really see these would be a lot harder if you could hit them on all four sides but no all these you can only hit on two sides so you can only move them up and down really so there's really no um, scare and failing these puzzles like at all um, oh can we not move this ah no we can't Okay, apparently we did not want to move this one, because we could have the jumping path right here. There we go. Yeah, I think that's it. We'll use the other ones as platforms. Perfect. Yeah. 
You always want to hold back. You know, I'm going to even show what happens when you don't. Uh, you always want to hold back when you're jumping to this platform. Because if you don't, you go flying real. Oh, God. I didn't expect to go flying that far. Well, perfect example. You go flying way over. All the way back here? Really? Okay, I regret showing that. See? Look at that! That took three hits! Plus four if you include the destroying the barrier. That's weird! How come that guy took three hits and the other one only took two? Or one even? I don't understand this game. It makes zero sense to me. Okay! Not gonna try showing that again, because we all know how that went last time. Uh, why do you want that? For no reason other than just for breaking rights. Uh, oh, I can't make that. Did not think I would be able to. We did it! Then we activate it. You know what? I think last time I played this too. Oh, that thing was kind of floating. What's in here? The last time I did this, that exact same ha thing happened. I like fell off trying to jump up there, like where I died last time. Like trying to jump, jump up here. I fell off and I had to restart all over again. I completely forgot that if you do die, you start all the way back there. It's not gonna suck. Oh, that's never mind. For some reason, I thought this mask that fell was over there somewhere. Oh. Oh, there's a pair of underwear over there. I saw something floating in white. I was like, what the heck is that? Oh god, I can believe- No! Oh, you know what? No, that's where I fell before. I forgot that was a slide. That's cheap. And the checkpoint isn't until after the slide. So if you fall, you have to do that all over again. Well, not sure. You don't have to hit the switch again. The switch stays permanently activated. 77. Really wrapping up this game, guys. Really wrapping it up indeed. Okay. Well, I think we're right near the end here, actually. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Anything else? There is a pair of underwear over here. It's weird how all those lights... Have those, those lights almost look like souls, don't they? I don't know. You know how souls are sometimes, like, shown as just little, um... Well, not really little, but, like, orbs of light? Like, that size, really. Just, like, big orbs of light. That's that, that's what that was kind of reminding me of. Anyways, we have finished up with the... Whatever this... Part is called Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. Well, no, I, I don't remember what this section is called. Next episode, well, uh, I thought I was gonna fall. We will take on the graveyard ships. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and ready. My name's Chris, and I shall talk to you guys later. Peace.